Welcome back to Before Bedtime with Coach Eli, or with just Eli. <laughs> oh man, glad you could all join me here uh, before you reach that deep sleep tonight so you can wake up and have an amazing day. Uh, today, I'm going to be discussing uh, best ways I know on how to relieve stress. One more time, best ways I know on how to relieve stress and when you relieve the stress if you can relieve all of the stress before bedtime you're going to be so relaxed that you're going to be able to easily fall into a deep sleep and you know get to bed hopefully before midnight so that way you know like i've mentioned in, in past videos my father told me that hey son when you go to bed before midnight it's like having two hours of sleep for every hour. So if I can help you folks, um, you know, with some tips and tricks on things that have worked for me to relieve my stress, uh, if I can help you out with that, then I know it'll help you get that rest that you need to recharge and come back the next day and just have an even more productive day than you would have already had. Before we get to that, I wanted to... Uh, mentioned something I, I didn't really get into in the intro video that I put out yesterday. Um, this is Millennial Monkey and this is Baby Z. Um, now, I've been on YouTube for five years now, three years on this channel and almost two years on a previous channel I used to run that no longer exists. And uh, the story with Millennial Monkey and Baby Z, uh, when I was dating an ex-girlfriend years ago, we did a lot of great videos, and um, we were at uh, at this uh, fair uh, that um, uh, it was like a flea market type of thing, and um, there was uh, um, this one company that was selling a bunch of uh, products they wanted to get rid of, and um, I saw this monkey here, the big monkey, for I think it was like eighteen to twenty bucks. I'm like, wow. It, it, you know, the regular price for this monkey would be about, you know, 80 to to $100 or more. Look at how big this thing is. Uh, so, uh, Millennial Monkey was like 18 to 20 bucks, something like that. And then Baby Z was like $12. I'm like, I got to get these monkeys here. I got to get the, the, the father and the son right here. Millennial Monkey and Baby Z. And the reason why <laughs> I introduce these characters is because... The millennial generation and uh, the millennials, which are the Gen, you know, Y people, um, and then the Gen Z, the predecessors, uh, the I generation, um, they have completely changed the way uh, that we do things nowadays. Um, and I honestly feel, with no disrespect, they need the most help. And uh, so I'm going to be throwing them into these videos. Uh, so they're going to be keeping me company here during before bedtime with uh, Eli. But anyway, with that being said, let's get back on track here. What are the best ways that I know of to uh, release stress or relieve stress? There are a couple of things that I do. Um, one of these things I do pretty much daily. The other one I try to do two to three to four times a week. It just depends how much time I have or, you know, how I'm feeling. Um, but the first thing that I do each and every day, if not almost every day, is I get some form of exercise. Um, typically, I will go to the park. If you've been following my channel for a while, I do a lot of uh, Walking With Purpose live streams. I also do Walking With Purpose pre-recorded videos. Um, so I go to the park um, or to a walking trail and walk at least three miles, preferably four to five miles each and every day. Um, now, if you're not able to get to a park, you know, um, and you have a treadmill in your house, if you get on your treadmill for at least 20 to 30 minutes each day uh, at a moderate pace, that will give you the same type of effect. But here is the benefit of getting exercise uh, for at least 30 to 60 minutes each day and elevating your heart rate, whether you're walking at the park, taking a jog, or you're on the treadmill or whatever, right? 
you kick in what's called those endorphins. And the endorphins are the feel-good hormone. I can tell you folks, um, I've gone uh, to the park or I've taken a walk for two weeks straight. And then when I take one day off and don't do any exercise at all, I can totally feel the difference. It completely changes the way I feel deep within. I feel sluggish. I have a hard time sleeping that night. The, the, the feel-good hormone, kicking in those endorphins, um, is one of the most uh, amazing feelings that you're going to get each and every day. And it's just going to put you in such a good feeling. You're going to feel like you accomplished something. And by the time you um, you know get home or you're done with your exercise regimen for the day, if you're working out at home, uh, at a home gym or in a home gym or uh, on a treadmill, uh, you're going to feel incredible. Another thing that I recommend, and a lot of people make fun of this, uh, but it's nothing to make fun of. Have you heard of Epsom salt? Okay, I've talked a lot about this on my live streams and other pre-recorded videos, but I want to really emphasize it here today. Um, Epsom salt baths are incredible. They are known to have tremendous health benefits. Okay, I, I believe it's magnesium sulfate that's uh, that's in uh, the Epsom salt, and you can buy Epsom salt. You know, at Target, you can get Dr. Teal's, which is a pretty popular brand. Uh, this is an unpaid endorsement. I'm just giving you some examples here. Um, or, or you can you can get, you know, Epsom salt, you know, at Walgreens or CVS or any one of those stores. I'll tell you where I get um, my Epsom salt. This is an unpaid endorsement. I order it online in bulk from a company called uh, epsoak.com, unpaid endorsement. Um, they're also, they also have another website called SF Bath Salt Company, but their Epsom salt section has gone to epsoak.com. Uh, and, uh, I get a 19 pound bag of muscle soak, um, Epsom salt. It's about $40, $42, which is not bad. It's comparable, or even a little bit cheaper when you buy it in bulk than buying Dr. Teal's at, at a Target or a supermarket, um, or uh, a Walgreens or CVS. And it's much better quality too, right? And and you want to soak, you want to get into your Epsom salt bath, uh, you, you want to try to soak at least twice a week. If you can do it three or four times a week, even better. Uh, you cannot overdose on Epsom salt. Um, there's there's nothing, you know, proven that it's harmful or anything like that. It's It's pretty healthy for you. How long do you soak in Epsom salt? Well, they say soak to get the best benefits. Soak for 20 minutes, um, you know, 20 to 45 minutes or so. I will tell you this, folks. Yes, you will get some benefit um, soaking in Epsom salt for, you know, 20 to 30 minutes. But there are times where I've soaked in Epsom salt for an hour or even an hour and a half, and I actually feel even better and feel more relaxed. Now, here's the thing, okay? If you're gonna soak in Epsom salt for that long, you're gonna get dehydrated. You're gonna wanna bring some water or you know some type of liquid you can drink uh, you know, in your bathtub, and you're gonna wanna bring a good amount because you're gonna get dehydrated uh, very quickly and often. And, and in my opinion, from what's worked for me, the longer that you soak in the Epsom salt, the better the benefit. Now, I wouldn't soak in there longer than an hour or an hour and a half, hour and a half at the max. You don't want to go any longer than that. Then, you know, you're not getting any additional benefit and that could dehydrate you so badly where you never know. But um, but try to, try to soak in there for about an hour or so. That's a good amount of time. Uh, like I said, most people say soak in it 20 minutes, 30 minutes. I say go up to an hour if you can. Even an hour and a half if you have some time to kill. Um, and do that at least a couple times a week. If you can do it three or four times a week, um, that's even better. And it is going to relax you. And you're going to want to do that right before you plan on going to bed. Because after you've soaked in Epsom salt that long, at least this is how it affects me. I am so relaxed. I am ready to go to sleep. And I fall asleep like a baby and I sleep for seven or eight hours straight and it's the best sleep that I've had. 
So those are the two best ways I know of how to release stress. There are more ways, uh, but I'm going to save that for a future video. So there you have it. Um, once again, I want to thank you for taking the time to view this video. I hope you get some great rest tonight. Uh, sleep well, sleep tight. Please like, share, subscribe, bang the bell, select the notifications, and I'll catch you on the next one. Take care. Bye-bye.